At long last, Bushwood finally revealed the next main set in store for Vanguard, which is going to be GBT-08. Now, this, cl this new set is going to support quite a lot of clans. I believe there's eight in total, which is, I think, the most we've had in a while. So the clans that will be in the set are Royal Paladin, Neo Nectar, Genesis, Gold Paladin, Link Joker, Dark Irregulars, Pale Moon and Grand Blue, as well as Cray Elemental cards. So there are a lot of clans in this set, and usually there's about five to six per set, but now there's a lot. So because it's still the same amount of cards as with every other set, I am kind of assuming that some clans like Pale Moon and Grand Blue are only going to get maybe a couple of cards, but they're doing the SP clan packs yet again, and the only ones that will not get SP packs in this set are Gold Paladins and Dark Irregulars, so that means that the other six will get SP packs, so uh, they kind of have to have at least two new cards, I guess, in order to justify the SP packs. So... We know from this picture that I'm going to show right now that the Neo Nectar one contains so all three Ashas, the Stride Fodder, and then one unknown card, but I'm going to guess that's going to be a new G-Guardian. So I think, for example, Grand Blue and Pale Moon, because they're also getting the Idol set soon, I'm pretty sure it's just going to be a couple of new cards, maybe a new G-Guardian, and you know maybe, maybe a new Stride, maybe not, maybe just some Silverthorn support, who knows. So, apart from that, we also saw the full art of both the new Sharharat, and also the new Fenrir, so these should be the Stride Fusions that we're going to be getting in this set, and they look pretty damn amazing. Now, if we go back to the art of the set, we can see like the first two are obviously Fenrir and Shadowrot, but then if you would look at the, let's say the middle right, that looks like a Dark Irregulars or Gold Paladin, but more, more towards Dark Irregulars G-Guardian, possibly, and then the one on the left is probably a Pale Moon G-Guardian, and then bottom left looks like a gold paladin, but that could be a stride or a G guardian. I don't even know. Or and then on the right, I'm not even sure what that might be. It's it's kind of hard to judge. So yeah, you can. That could actually be a messiah. I'm not too sure. We'll see. We'll find out in due time. So the set should be coming out on the 26th of August in Japan. We don't have a English release date just yet, but you know. Never mind, as I was recording this, they announced the English release date. It's going to be September 30th of this year. So there we go. There's the English release date for GBT-08. And apart from that, there's going to be a Sharon reprint. She's the old stand trigger from the original BT-05, I believe. So she's got some strong leg game going on this time. And finally, one of the pieces of news that excited people the most about this set is that Amnesty Messiah is getting a reprint in rare foiling. Now, what this means is that it's not necessarily going to be as common as a rare, but it might be, at least from what I've heard people say, because we don't know for sure yet, but I've heard people say that there should be about 5 per case, like how the very first GRs in GBT01 or GBO2 were. That gives you just about 30% chance of pulling one, I guess. But yeah, this has been something that people have been asking for for a very long time, and I even, it was one of the uh, things that I mentioned in my community market rant, which I'm very thankful at how much it blew up. I'm very thankful for you guys who checked it out and shared it so much, and I think it, it was even brought to Bushro's attention, so thank you very much for sharing that. And it's funny, because just a few days after I released that, uh, they announced an Amnesty reprint, the Idol booster, and all these things, so it's pretty damn exciting. Final note before I finish off this video, this is not related to GPT-08, but we have an official round extension. If you go to the Springfest page, and I believe this will be updated on the Worlds page once that goes live as well, but they have extended rounds from 20 minutes to 25 minutes in favor of the G Guardians and 16 card G Zone because games are obviously much longer now. Well, not much, but they are considerably longer. So. This is really good for the game, honestly, because 25 minutes is definitely what we need instead of the 20 that we had so far, and I'm very glad that Bushroad passed this on to English as well. So this is definitely looking good for the game. I'm glad they're doing an Amnesty reprint, and in general, this set is looking pretty damn good. So let me know what you guys think of this new set. Are you excited? Are there any clans in it that you are going to play? Ironically, there's not that much in it for me. I believe there's just... Um, if there's Jewel Knight support, there's Royals, and... I guess if there's Silverthorn support, there's Pale Moon, but that's about it. So this won't be... I won't have to spend too much money on this set, luckily. But yeah, that's that's how it is for me. Let me know what you guys think about this set. And that's pretty much it for me. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.